Thank you very much. Brandon and Mallory Goldman. Hello, my name is Brandon Goldman. I'm nine years old and I'm a fourth grader at Waterloo Elementary. I'm here tonight to talk about the two different calendars for next year. All five years I've been at Waterloo, our, our school has been closed for the Jewish holidays of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. On those days off, my family and I go to Temple Isaiah to celebrate these important holidays. Every morning at Waterloo Elementary, after the Pledge of Allegiance, we say the Waterloo Pledge. We promise to do our Waterloo best, and the best stands for be respectful, embrace differences, spend time learning, and take responsibility. I think adults should take this pledge too, and be respectful of all religions, and embrace the differences between our cultures. I know you are deciding between two different calendars for next year, and one of them opens schools on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. I don't understand why these two Jewish holidays are the only days being talked about. I think the calendar should be fair for everyone. Maybe there are other days schools could open that aren't a religious holiday. My dad told me that schools have been closed on these Jewish holidays his entire life, so I asked him why it was going to change now. He said he read the report about it and still doesn't know why. It seems like there should be a reason. Also, if schools are open, there are a lot of Jewish teachers that would have to make subplans to take days off on these holidays. Jewish teachers shouldn't have to do more work on their religious holiday, and parents shouldn't have to choose between our education and our religion. Can you please vote for option one to keep schools closed on the Jewish holidays of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur? Thank you very much. Thank you, Brandon. Hello, my name is Maui Goldman. I'm six years old and I'm a first grader at Waterloo Elementary. I celebrate the Jewish holidays of Rosh Hashanah. That's the, the Jewish New Year and Yom Kippur. That's when we throw bread in the water and say, I'm sorry for doing something wrong. I think it's important to keep schools closed on those holidays. It wouldn't be fair for us to miss school while everyone else has to keep learning. I even know one of the first grade teachers at my school, Mrs. Shapiro. She celebrates the Jewish holidays and she would have to miss school too. Please keep school, schools closed on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur because those are the most important holidays for the Jewish people like me and my family. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mallory. Thank you. Edward Dew and Ron, we have your packet. Thank you very much. You. Okay, Mr. Goldman. Good evening, Dr. Foos and members of the Board of Education. My name is Jeremy Goldman. I'm here to testify in support of academic calendar option one, which maintains the closing of schools on the Jewish holidays of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. I've lived in Howard County my entire life. I graduated from Centennial High School 20 years ago, and I am Jewish. I'm the former president of the Board of Directors at Bet Yeladim, a Jewish preschool in Columbia, and I chair several committees and programs through the Jewish Federation of Howard County. Most importantly, I'm the father of Brandon and Mallory, who testified earlier. Um, reading the committee report on the proposed academic calendars, what instantly stands out from the very first sentence is the complete lack of data. The report actually begins with, quote, recognizing the changing demographics in the Howard County public school system. What changing demographics? What changed? And since when did it change from? There is no specific data referenced anywhere in the entire report about changing demographics in Howard County. As mentioned, the report does state that in 1979, when the board first made this decision to close on the holidays, it was because absentee rate for staff was at 12%. First, the committee noted that current absentee data is unavailable for these Jewish holidays because we've been closed for 36 years. Second, there's no absentee rate threshold that would trigger the closing of schools. The board cannot justify any decision about the academic calendar without knowing the threshold at which it becomes operationally difficult to open schools. 
So without any current absentee data and no established threshold, the reasonable conclusion is that the board is currently unable to make any changes and needs more time to collect information. It is very disappointing to me that the committee, the board, and the superintendent would even consider an option that reopens schools on these Jewish holidays after 36 years with no data. The committee believes, quote, the only way to obtain absentee data would be to open schools. That is the most inappropriate and insensitive way to collect data and should be completely disregarded. You don't ostracize an entire religious group completely just to gather information about them. You work with the group to collect information, and that engenders a culture of trust, transparency, and mutual respect. So please allow the many religious communities of Howard County to help you determine how many students, teachers, administrators, and staff would be absent on their most important religious holidays. Only then can the board make a well-informed decision. And by the way, if the data points towards opening schools on the Jewish holidays, I would understand that fact-based decision. But we will adamantly and openly oppose any decision on this issue that is not supported by factual data. Please vote for academic calendar option one. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Okay, Ms. Michelle Marco.